हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ऑल इन अ सुश्रुत राइजादे ऑफिशियल चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड वर्किंग ऑफ अ स्टीम पावर प्लांट इन स्टीम पावर प्लांट देर आर मेनली टू प्लांट्स फर्स्ट वन इज अ कोल एंड कोल एंड एश हैंडलिंग प्लांट एंड सेकेंड वन इज अ स्टीम जनरेटिंग प्लांट इन अ कोल एंड एश हैंडलिंग प्लांट द कोल इज ट्रांसपोर्टेड टू द स्टीम पावर स्टेशन by a road or a rail and is stored in the coal storage plant and then storage of coal is primary primarily a matter of protection against the coal strikes failure of a transportation system and general coal store general coal shortage from the coal storage plant coal is delivered to the coal handling plant where it is pulverized that means crushed into a small pieces in order to increase its surface exposure thus promoting a rapid combustion without using a large quantity of excess air the pulverized coal is fed to the boiler by a belt conveyors this is what the coal and coal handling plant and ash handling plants the ash which is generated due to the combustion of coal that ash handling plants are used then second one is a steam generating plant in which the steam is generated the uh, steam generating plant consists of a boiler super heater which is in the boiler super heater economizer then air preheater steam turbine alternator feed water pump and cooling arrangement okay now how it works actually a generating station a generating station which converts heat energy of a coal combustion into a electrical energy is known as a steam power station it can also be called as a thermal power station or a thermal power generating plant a steam power station basically works on the rankine cycle it works on a rankine cycle the steam is produced in the boiler by utilizing the heat which is coming from the coal combustion the fuel which is used in the steam power plant is generally a coal and that coal is uh, burned in the boiler in the combustion chamber of the boiler and that coal combustion produces a large amount of heat that combustion takes place with the help of air air uh, air which is coming from the air preheater and the with the help of coal combustion the large amount of heat is produced that heat is then uh, exchanges with the water and the steam is produced from the boiler that steam is then uh, provided to the turbine the steam which is pro uh, produced by the boiler is a superheated steam and that superheated steam is you know, provided to the steam turbine therefore the steam turbine produces a mechanical energy that mechanical energy is converted into the electrical energy with the help of a electrical generator because this steam turbine drives the electrical generator and that electrical generator converts the mechanical energy into the electrical energy then the steam which is extracted from the turbine after the use of steam ex steam that extracted steam is then passed towards the condenser in a condenser the steam gets condensed that means the steam is converted into the water with the help of a exchange of heat with the cold water which is coming from the cold water then that condensed steam that means water is again fed to the boiler with the help of a feed water pump okay now in the condenser the heat which is exchanged between the steam and the water the water gets heated therefore that warm water is then circulated towards the cooling tower in cooling tower it is spread out and these cooling towers having a holes therefore this uh, the air which is in the atmosphere that air comes into the cooling tower and it cools the water therefore the cooled water gets down into the uh, 
at the bottom of the cooling tower that cooled water then circulated again with the help of a pump and this uh, cycle completes then the gases which are coming from the boiler that are called as a flue gases that flue gases are then that means combustion gases are now provided towards the chimney the heat which is present in the flue gases are uh, flue gases are utilized in the different components like a economizer superheater uh, evaporators that after that use of heat from the flue gases that flue gases are uh, passes towards the stack stack means chimney then the flue gases are uh, released into the atmosphere this is what the construction and working of the steam power plant thank you